Rulo and his friends are getting ready for a football match that will decide who will go at the Tournament of Regions. The game will take place in a couple of days, and it does not appear it will pose any difficulties. Rulo's team is much better than that of his adversaries. The latter are run by Mr. Snag, a businessman in the land that doubles as a football coach. Mr. Snag knows that his team is weaker, but he's convinced that he'll win, as he has a secret advantage. On the day of the game, Ruler walks onto the pitch full of confidence. On the sides, Mr. Snag is strangely relaxed. The referee is Mr. Sharp, a man passionate about football, but who acts as a referee only on occasion. His day job is at a local factory that produces leather sports balls, the factory owned by Mr. Snag. As the game starts, it's clear for everyone that Rulo's team is better. The only problem is that Mr. Sharp is keen on helping the team of Mr. Snag to win the match. Rulo scores a goal, but the referee annuls it, justifying his action by inventing an offlaid. The game advances slowly, with many situations whistled against Rulo's team. In the end, the players of Mr. Snag get an unfair penalty that decides the fate of the game. Rulo loses the match, and with it the chance to advance in the tournament. Why did the match end in the way it did? Well, Mr. Snag is the owner of Mr. Sharp, the referee of the match. He can fire him from his factory any time he wants. Thus, the referee was pressured into favouring the team of Mr. Snag. The game didn't have an independent referee. What would have happened if the referee would not have been connected off-pitch to Mr. Snag and would have been allowed to watch over the game freely? without the fear of losing his day job? Who would have advanced in the tournament? In what other situations do you believe in the importance of the independence of those who decide over disputes?